Oh, look at her. I'm not touching her. Oh, come here. Come here. Uh, you won't hold her? Huh? You won't hold her? No. Just hanging out here with the friends. <laughs> Walked right past this diamondback rattlesnake next to the trail. Honestly, just floor, just floor it past them and we'll let them walk. <laughs> Don't hit Sarah, obviously. I'll give her a little nudge. <laughs> Welcome back to Wild Attractions, everybody. This weekend, we are going to be hanging out with some friends, celebrating some birthdays in the Central Texas countryside. Brand new area. We're going to be getting out hiking, herping, and seeing what kind of cool animals we can find, as always. And I hope you guys enjoy this one. Let's get started. Also, this Airbnb's got horses. Lots of them. All right, guys. I got some of the most talented herpers in the country today with me. That's right. Got Antonio, Michael, and RJ here. We're going to go flip some rocks way out here in the middle of nowhere, Central Texas. Here's the Airbnb we're staying at, where we stayed at last night. But uh, let's go uh, Let's go find some herps, right? Let's, let's be crazy. crazy. Let's find some bass. Let's be crazy. 100%. Here, you want to get it? Oh, two. Two. Mmm, that looks pretty good. Is it going? Yeah. Thanks for tuning in, guys. For tuning back in, I should say. It closes two seconds. As you can see, there's a lot of rocks here. A lot of, um, a lot of, well, I, I guess you could say natural debris, which reptiles and amphibians like to take shelter in. As an expert herper, I can tell you that this is the case. So we're gonna go flip, uh, flip some rocks over and see what we can find. I just saw something move. Oh, it's here. It's rattlesnake. <laughs> Look at that plant. That thing is crazy looking. It was all. You got it. You got it. Right there, yeah. It's down. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He won't get you. Alright, fuck it, I'm just gonna commit. Just do it. Commit. Eat him. I don't want it. It keeps grab up a tarantula. I will not do that. Still. Got a beautiful little striped bark scorpion right here. Michael found. Good find. Tackled in here. Looks like a big male. He's got that long extended um, tail there. Attached to the stinger, you can see. Telltale sign of a male scorpion. Good size. Let's put him back. Oh, all right, here we go. Got a really nice size funnel web spider right here. Let's see if I can get them out. They don't get very big, so nice size. It's not very, uh, still not very large, but here he is. These are megalomorphs related to like spider. the trapdoor spiders you see. We also have trapdoor spiders here. They're just impossible to see the, the burrows of them. There he is. It's cute. All right, RJ just spotted this beautiful grasshopper or locust right here. RJ, come pick it up and talk about it for a minute. Got a group of what looks like harvestmen. They could be leaf cutter ants. I think we do have a, a species of leaf cutter ant here in Texas. Not positive. Sorry for all the loud noises in the background. There's a lot of cars right next to the highway, but. is an American giant millipede. One of, if not, probably the largest millipede we have in the US actually. Really cool black and red coloration on these. Just crossing the trail here that I'm walking down. Decent size. You see he's trying to protect himself there. A very interesting looking uh, 
looks like some sort of cave cricket hanging out under this rock. I actually saw a few of them, but the other ones scattered. Look at the spines on his leg, on his legs, back legs there. Super strange. I don't know where the other ones went. Come on, buddy. Watch out. There's, there's one of them. Little trail and spotted some movement. Looks like a small uh, Texas spiny right there. Let's see if we can catch him. Oh. Surprisingly slow. Usually these guys are fairly quick. Oh, buddy. Hold on. Let me get a better grip on you. Very small. It's probably about a year old. Believe it or not, they're even tinier than this when they hatch out of eggs. Very similar to like western fence lizards, eastern fence lizards that have the blue all over their uh, ventral. But these guys don't really have much color compared to those and they get quite a bit bigger. Kind of our version of a fence lizard. Same genus too, uh, Scalopris, I believe. It's cool to find though. I just pulled over on the side of the road because I found this little guy right here. Pretty sad, he's definitely not alive anymore, but I had no idea what this was. I honestly thought it was a ringtail lemur. It was very strange. We're in Texas right now, central Texas, so it seemed pretty strange. So yeah, I turned around, came to see what it was. Apparently they're called ringtails, but it's not a lemur. Um, it's a member of the raccoon family from what I could find. Pretty crazy looking animal though. Unfortunately, again, definitely been uh, deceased for a little while now, but really interesting little creature for sure. Would love to see one alive at some point. Just wanted to show you guys this. Um, we're gonna get back on the road and maybe find some snakes soon, we'll see. All right guys, quick stop for food with the friends. And then we're gonna go find some uh, snakes, I hope. Yeah. Rattlesnake. <laughs> You're lying! All right. All right, guys, can you hear me? We literally just got to the trail that we're gonna be hiking. I'm with all my friends who brought them today. My birthday's tomorrow, so we wanted to do a little birthday trip. And me and RJ just walked right past a freaking rattlesnake coming out in the trail. I'm not taking it. I got it. <laughs> That is a Western Diamondback Rattlesnake, highly venomous. This will absolutely ruin your month. But, oh my God, I, I'm sitting here thinking it's way too cold out for snakes to be out on the move. And uh, yeah, do you they, never know what's gonna happen, huh? Do they bite like yes. without any like, unpopped? No, they will only bite if you get super close and they feel uh, Defensive, like they have to protect themselves. I feel defensive. <laughs> All right, so RJ's gonna free handle this rattlesnake right now. Lying. Ohio things. Lying. No, not really. I'm I'm in shock that we just walked right past this thing. Yeah, we were literally just walking down this trail. He sees he's flicking his tongue, basically t tasting the air and like because he knows we're here and he's trying to figure out what's going on. How would you know if he's like on attack mode? He would start rattling, maybe. They don't always rattle though. You definitely don't want to get any closer than that though. Well, I was, my foot was freaking right there. Yeah, that's not great. <laughs> Thankfully though, because it's so cold out right now, they're not super defensive. But obviously, you still want to be careful. Diamondback rattlesnake? Western diamondback rattlesnake. They have a pretty good what? Strong hemotoxic venom. Oh, shit. Um, there's people coming. You could like lose a limb if you got bit by this. We need to, we can't, we can't leave it here though because people could absolutely get bit. I know well, he's coming this way, so I'm probably gonna Put him there. try and get him over there. But yeah, let's. Oh, be careful, Andrew. Thank you. Hate to drive you back to the med, med station. <laughs> Hi. Just be careful. There's a rattlesnake right here. Oh, yeah, Western Diamondback. We walked right past him. I didn't even see him. I'm going to try and get him on that side of the trail so you can keep moving. <laughs> yeah, of course. 
we walked right past him. I mean, literally a foot or two from him. Thankfully, he's just relaxed, trying to get some uh, sunlight, bask a little bit. He's not interested in harming anybody, but he definitely would if um, he felt threatened. He's starting to back away. I'm gonna try and move him onto this side of the trail so he can keep going, because he looks like he wants to come this way. He doesn't want your help. <laughs> oh. Not there he goes. Wow. Yeah, there he goes. Doing his thing. Just hanging out here with the friends. <laughs> Walked right past this diamondback rattlesnake next to the trail. Oh, wow. He's scooting. And he's gone. Oh. <laughs> what happened? You didn't catch me. I did. <laughs> Boobers. We're in the hill country of Central Texas today, and I brought my friends out here for my birthday. We're gonna be looking for snakes, maybe tarantulas, centipedes, and whatever else we might come across. So we're gonna get started, see what we can find. RG looks very ready. To conquer hey, these hills. American Herper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get started. Wild dragon. Wild dragon. <laughs> you know, if you touch it, there's a stone and it holds it. No, yeah, don't do it. Wait, what? Don't touch the it. Fake dollar. Hey, yeah, fake it. dollar kills you? It's end if there's dragons. Yeah. You're still technically touching it. <laughs> Is there like voodoo on the dollar or something? I don't need you. No, no, no. 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 Apparently, there's a thing where you put drugs on the dollar and hide it. Wait, something just went on. Yeah, there's these giant collared lizards that live here. We might find one. They bite f hard. You would take a bite from a lizard, right? Yeah. Let's see if we can get one. Oh, tarantula. You want a stick? Shit, she's gonna be hard to get. You want a stick? Here. Go on. Come on, sweetie. Please, 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 please. Come on. Come on, honey. Oh, look at her. I'm not touching her. Oh, come here. Come here. Uh, you won't hold her? Huh? You won't hold her? No. Thank you though. All right, I just flipped this big rock right here. I think I got it on my GoPro. Got a huge burrow and a good size adult, probably female Texas brown tarantula, Fonohoma hensi, right here. Decent size, you can see her next to my hand. They definitely get bigger, but she's, she's not bad. Awesome. Let's see if I can get her on my hand and we can handle her for a minute here and then let her back into a burrow. It is pretty cold. It's in the 50s, like low 50s. So I won't keep her out for too long, but you can see that deep, deep burrow she's got there. Actually, maybe not that deep. You can see her molt right there at the bottom of the burrow, it looks like, but awesome. All right, here's this beautiful tarantula. I got her in hand now, so we can just take a quick, close look. It is not, um, detrimental to them at all to hold them like this it doesn't hurt them or anything just a way to be able to kind of see their their underside here you can see the fangs right there chelicerae gorgeous adult tarantula very sluggish because it's so cold out but i'm gonna put her down in a minute here and we'll uh get uh get moving and see what else we can find but really really cool i was hoping to see a tarantula today so i'm glad we got the chance awesome Down this way. I don't know here, if I'm here, gonna lift that. <laughs> eh, I don't know if it's oh, worth it. Oh, wow, man. <laughs> don't hurt yourself. <laughs> <laughs> we 
got a little striped bark scorpion right here. Let's see if I can. Come on, buddy. I just want to hold you. Oh, don't go into my sleeve. You want to hold him, RJ? No. Oh, come on. God, no. It's just a bark scorpion. Yeah, it's got more than four legs. Nah. Will it? I mean, yeah. Got stung last time I grabbed one. It is really pretty. Right? Come on, I'll get a video of you holding your first bark scorpion. Super quick, just right on the hand, and I'll take it back. Hold on, I'm about to pick up a scorpion. Like a boss. Nope, nope, I gotta see him walk on. <laughs> I can't do that. Not until he walks on. Okay. Are you ready? No. RJ. I'm not. I don't want it anymore. Oh, oh. Made it to the top of this hill. No, we're still up and carrying I'm very winded. We ate a bunch of pie before this, so I'm definitely feeling it. But the plan is to get to the other side of that. See if there's some snake action. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, look at that. Wow, 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 wow. Picture wow. right here. Yeah. You can't get that back in Ohio. <laughs> look at those colors. Wow. Wow. It's like a painting. Bob Ross painting. Look at all those happy trees. What a country we live in. America. God almighty. It looks as good on, the, on your phone. Yeah. It doesn't really. All right. Yeah. They don't always have cell phones. <laughs> yeah, right. Are you serious? I just crawled. You joshing me? Oh, it's wrong kind, wrong kind. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us on this adventure, everybody. It's been seriously amazing to see how much growth this channel has been getting. I'm so, so excited for the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want to support the channel, as it really does help out so much. But uh, that's it. I'll see you on the next wildlife adventure.